I'm going to give you five things that you need to do with your irons to make sure that you're hitting better shots. Let's take a look at this lesson right now. So hitting better iron shots, we all want to do it. We all want to get that middle of the club more frequently instead of getting the toe, the heel, the bottom of it. And we want to hit more greens. The first thing we need to make sure that we're doing when we're hitting an iron is getting rid of a poor strike. Strike is king. If we can make sure we're getting a good contact, then we can start to control our direction. We can control our distance and hitting greens becomes a lot easier from there. So the first thing we need to do to ensure that we get a good strike it's all about our weight transfer so a great little tip that I want you to take away from this lesson is a lot of people I see that are hitting poor shots are always trying to help the golf ball up in the air I've got an eight iron here there's a lot of loft on there there's roughly about 37 degrees so we can already see that that ball is going to go up off that club face so I actually need to hit down on the golf ball when we're hitting an iron we hit ball then we hit turf we don't have to take massive divots it might only be a little bit of a graze on the turf but we need to make sure that that's happening after we've struck the golf ball and to do that, what we need to do is think about the middle of our body. As we take our swing, what we don't want to see is that we're moving the middle of the body back and forwards as we're going through the golf swing. So it's changing where the low point of my arc is. If we think of the golf swing as a big circle, the lowest point, I want my ball to be there and I want to shift the circle just in front as I get into impact to make sure that I would get this um, divot after the golf ball. So to do that, when we make a backswing with an iron, what I want you to try and focus on is as you swing up to the top, feel like as you swing up now and stop, if you were to point your lead hand down, you would still be pretty much on the golf ball. If you were to make a swing and move off, and then you point your lead hand down, it would be very much behind the golf ball here. That's going to be an issue. All the weight's gone to the outsole of my back foot here. From there then, I've got to slide forwards and the consistency of that isn't going to be great. So once we've made a swing and we're able to turn up and point at the golf ball, from here then, now what I want to be able to do is feel that I shift the weight into my lead foot. If I then point my lead hand down, you can see it's just in front of the golf ball now. So as I would then start to unwind my torso and let my arms come down, I would meet the golf ball and then I would actually graze the turf after that. So let's give that a go. We're gonna feel that we are up to the top, staying nice and centered, shift forwards and see that we get a nice ball, then turf contact. Beautiful, and if we come in close there, you can see where my tee peg was, and then my divot has started just after the golf ball, and it's flown straight out onto the green. Okay, so let's have a look at tip number two of how we're gonna hit better iron shots. Guys, if you're enjoying this video as well, do remember to hit the subscribe button down below. I want you to get better at golf, and you're gonna do that by joining me on the channel every week for your free golf lessons. Hit the button down below, turn on the bell notification, and I'll see you in more lessons. Tip number two, one of the things that I see from a lot of my lessons, they try and hit their irons as hard as they can. Now, if we were to watch golf on the TV, what we would see from the professionals would be that we never really see anyone making like the John Daly swing anymore, where as they get up to the top of the back swing, they keep on going and going and going and going and get this really long over swing and then really try and throw it from there. The body's not going to be working all together from there. We're not going to see that we get every piece of the puzzle lined up and get that good strike. If we did watch the professionals, what we would see now, they're still creating speed and actually getting a lot of force into the golf ball. But what we see a lot of the time is that they swing to about 80%. So we see a lot of the iron swings up to here because unlike driver, I'm not trying to create maximum distance. I'm trying to control where this ball's going. I want maximum control to get it as close to that flag or to the center as green as possible. So when we're making our iron swings, let's try and make some where we feel Tip number one was still centered, but also feel that you're swinging about 80% and on the way through, 
feel that you're controlling it and holding your follow through and feeling like there's still just a little bit left in the tank there. From there then we're going to be able to get a much better control of the golf ball and really get pinpoint accuracy as we go through. And there we go, straight safely onto the green as we go through. Tip number three, and this is an important one guys, so many people don't know the yardages of the irons. I've used the Top Tracer app and you can see all my yardages there. I stand on so many tees and so many lesson tees with people and see poor, poor um, distance control from what they think they hit certain irons. Now, we've probably all hit a seven iron our best when it was a little bit downwind, bone dry, sunny, and the ball went a little bit further. And then we use that yardage as our baseline for all our clubs in the bag instead of actually taking an average of all our golf clubs because that feeds into tip number four we've got to choose the right club when we're playing into these greens this green here at the moment as we can see the pin is tight at the front and it's 139 yards so looking at this if i were to go for my irons i could see that maybe 144 if i hit it okay it's going to just get a couple of yards past the flag but if i take my eight iron now i know that the middle of the green is 153 yards and i hit my eight iron 159 yards so even if i go a little bit down the grip and actually play past the flag the flag isn't the final point so number four tip for hitting better irons is always try and play a little bit past the um, the flag don't look at the flag and think that's the maximum number we've got to hit by it and give ourselves a little bit of leeway when we are hitting our iron shots otherwise if i did hit a good nine or just caught my nine iron a little bit poor i might fall into that trap and i'm going to be snookered from there so tip number three and tip number four is know your yardages then give yourself a little bit of leeway and play past the flag and finally tip number five when I'm out on the golf course, everybody wants to draw the golf ball, but most of them fade it. So play to your strengths. Now with this flag here, it does set up for a little bit of a draw. If I were to hit it over the right hand side of the bunker and draw it back in, I'm starting it at the middle and then I would get it on the pin. But for myself, I'm a fader of the golf ball. So when I'm going to hit my iron, I'm now gonna to play to my strategy, I'm gonna to play to my strengths, which is fading the golf ball. I'm gonna take dead aim at the pin because if I pull it, I've got five yards left. And if I fade it and hit the shot I want to hit, I'll actually be about 10 foot right of the flag and a little bit beyond it. When I do that as well, what I'm not gonna do is tee up on this side. I'm gonna go more towards the other side of the tee here, which gives me a better opportunity to aim slightly left of the flag and then cut it back towards the pin. So tip number five is play to your strengths. If you're a fader of the golf ball, don't stand on every iron shot trying to draw it. Just accept your fade and play with it. Let's finish this off with a nice little fade into this flag and see it being about 10 feet away. And to order, 10 feet right of the flag, straight onto the green, no problems whatsoever there. I've now got a putt for birdie. Guys, five things you need to do with your irons. You need to make sure that you're getting that ball and turf strike by staying more centered. We need to control our swing by going 80% at it. Know your yardages, play past the pins and play to your strengths. If you can do those five things, you should start to hit a lot better iron shots. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Hit the comments down below which one's going to help you the most. And like I said earlier, remember to subscribe. It's totally free and I'll see you in the next lesson.